In this video, I am going to show you how to set up your Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. So, on first time of switching the device on, this is what you will be presented with. The first thing we would like to do is select our language. If English United Kingdom is not your preferred language, simply click on the menu and you can scroll down until you find the language of your choice. And when you are happy, click on it and it will be set. The next thing we want to do is click start. Next it is asking us to insert a SIM card but we are going to go ahead and skip this part. I have already done a tutorial on how to insert a SIM card so we will go ahead and check that out if you wish. So I will click skip. Next up it is asking us to connect to a Wi-Fi network if we wish. So if you would like to do this simply select your Wi-Fi network of choice and put the passcode in and it will automatically connect to your Wi-Fi network. From there, simply click on Next. Next, it is asking us to put the date and time in. We can automatically detect the date and time from the SIM card being inserted or by the Wi-Fi network. So probably the best option to choose is select Automatic Date and Time. But if you wish, you can go ahead and select the time zone which you live in. Next we will click next again and it will give us some end user license agreements that we have to carefully read through if you wish and click I understand and click yes when you are happy with both of them then simply click next. Next we have the options of adding a Google account. If you wish to do this simply click yes and from there you will be asked to put your Gmail username and password in. If you wish to skip this process, click no. Next, we can put any other Google accounts we wish in, but for now, I will go ahead and skip. Next, we have to agree to some more stuff regarding our location, and we can allow apps to know our location, to get relevant information for GPS and maps, etc. So you can decide whether you want to do this or not. I'm going to go ahead and untick them all and click next. Next we have to give our device a name so I'm going to go ahead and call ours Clove and you can also give it a last name if you wish so I'll call it device. From here simply click the forward arrow and the phone begins booting. You can go ahead and sign into your Samsung account if you have one and if you don't you can go ahead and create an account and it will ask you to create a username and a password. For now we will go ahead and skip this. As you can see it is asking us to go ahead and possibly sign up for a Samsung account as they could help us find our device if it's lost and also help us back our data up but I'm going to confirm that I would like to skip. So as you can see our device name is Clove Device and that is pretty much it. Click finish and our device is now fully set up and we are on to our home screen. And that is how you set up your device for the first time.